Welcome. During this video, we will show you how to connect Azure Active Directory domain services with Citrix Cloud. Let's start by logging into the Azure portal. There, click on Azure Active Directory and you will see the default users and groups that are a part of your default directory. Now let's open domain services. You can do that by clicking on the service menu or by clicking on the search button and typing domain services. We will discuss some of the features of domain services throughout this video. You can only have one managed domain per directory, and it's a good idea to create a managed domain inside a resource group. The creation of the managed domain is pretty simple, but it takes a long time. It took about three hours for this demo. We will find a list of resources used for this demo at the end of this video. I would like to highlight the cost of managed domains since you cannot power it down like another VM on Azure. A domain with less than 25,000 objects will cost you around 15 cents an hour, which equals to $106 a month. Since domain services is a service, you will not find a VM inside your resource group once you have provisioned your managed domain. In our demo resource group, we have already created one VM that we will use as our connector in the future. Now let's jump to create our first Active Directory user that will be our local administrator. To find the FQDN for your default directory, go to the top right hand corner, click on your username and look for the onmicrosoft.com value. You will use that FQDN when creating the new user account. Type a name, type a username, including the FQDN. Azure AD will validate the FQDN before letting you continue with the next step. Then type the profile information, click OK, and let's move to the group selection. By default, there's a single group called DC Administrators. This group will provide some management rights on your managed domain. We're also making this user a global administrator of the directory in Azure portal. Don't forget to show the password and copy the password that has been created with the account. For this demo, we're going to create a second account that we will use as our test account to log in into the environment through Citrix Cloud. Now let's go back to the Virtual Machines tab so we can connect into the Citrix Connector VM that we have previously created. In order to do that, we're going to click on the VM and then look for the Connect button. That will create an RTP file that then you will use to connect using the public IP that has been automatically assigned. This VM has never been joined to a domain, so we're going to log in with the local admin account that was created when we deployed the VM using the Azure tools. Once we're inside of the VM, we're going to go to the server manager, look for the local server, and click on the workgroup. We're now about to join this computer to the new domain that we have deployed. This is the managed domain. The managed service domain can be found on the Azure AD domain services tab. Since we're using domain services for this domain, we're going to check a few things before we actually join the server to the domain. First, let's go over to virtual networks so we can gather the information about the IPs that were assigned to the domain services. As you can see on the IP addresses column, those are the two IPs that we will need to add as DNS entries in our configuration. Click on DNS servers, then go to the custom section and add the two IP addresses that we saw previously. In case you want to double check those IPs, you can also go to Azure AD Domain Services, click on your managed domain, go to the properties section, and they will be highlighted there too. Now back on the VM, let's open the command prompt and use the ping command to test the connectivity to the IP addresses that we have entered before for DNS. Now that we have verified network connectivity to the managed domain, let's close the command prompt and finish joining the server to the domain. We will use the global administrator account that we recently created that is part of the onmicrosoft.com domain. Even though we're using that account, we're still joining the VM to the managed domain that we had created. Now that the VM has rebooted, let's log in 
with an account that belongs to the domain for the first time. We're going to log in with the account that we used to join the server to the domain. That is the account that belongs to the onmicrosoft.com. Since this is the first server in the domain, we have pre-installed the Active Directory management tools. So we're going to open Active Directory user and computers and explore the domain a little bit. All the default objects that have been created as part of the managed domain cannot be changed, but you are entitled to create more OUs and users and groups within that new OU. But existing OUs like the users or AA, DDC, computers or users are reserved for services accounts that are part of the managed services. Every time you create a new account through the Azure portal, it will be automatically added to the AADDC users. The DC administrator group is also updated through the Azure portal. Users added on the portal will be automatically added to the domain group. When users are deleted from the Azure portal, they will be disabled within the managed domain. Due to the limited access on the managed domain, accounts created through the Azure portal cannot be deleted through Active Directory users and computers. In order to create users or groups, you will need to create a new OU and then create those objects inside that new OU. Additionally, users created within Active Directory users and computers will not be replicated to Azure portal. Now, let's connect these new resources to Citrix Cloud. The first step is to add these new resources as a resource location on Citrix Cloud. We're going to create a new resource location, name it any way you wanted it, and then click Save. Now go to the console of the VM, open Internet Explorer, navigate to the Citrix Cloud console, and log in. Once on the portal, click on Resource Locations, then click on the new resource location we created, add Cloud Connectors, download the Cloud Connector software, save it locally, and then run it as administrator. The software will perform some connectivity tests, and once it has passed, it will ask you for your Citrix Cloud username and password. Go ahead and log in. The installation software will then query the Citrix Cloud Present with the resource locations, pick the one we just created, and click Install. After a couple of minutes, the installation completes, performs a second connectivity test, and that concludes the installation of the connector. Go back to the Citrix Cloud portal, select the resource location, and ensure that the connector is showing green. Let's head back to the main portal to ensure that we have discovered a new domain as part of the new connector. As you can see, there is a new domain that has been discovered, which is the third one, last one at the bottom. The last step is to log in as a user to ensure that domain authentication is working. You can log in with an account on the managed domain or an account on the onmicrosoft.com domain. We don't have any published resources yet, and that's why you're seeing a blank storefront. You can click on any of these links to learn more. Thank you for watching and come back soon.